Hello everybody, my name is Gatemo, welcome back for another video of NHL 19 franchise mode with the Seattle Krakens. We simulated the first half of the season with uh, not a so good uh, record. We got 15, 18 loss, okay so 15 wins and 18 loss. We're not doing so well, we're getting, ca we're catching up a little bit. Uh, we're going, to, we're trending up which is pretty good but I don't think we're going to make it to the playoff at this point. Even though we do, did get two shootouts in a row, which is pretty good for goaltenders at least. They're gonna, it's gonna help them out. Uh, now I did decide to, um, this, to change my the way I'm playing, the settings for my uh, setups, everything. So basically for the franchise mode, you know, as I said, I was gonna accept all trades. I am still gonna do that, but every time I'm gonna have a trade offer, let me just uh, start the simulation because. You might as well start the simulation while I talk. So two, uh, three, uh, that's two, four, six, eight, and ten. So all the way up to uh, p the Panthers game, I guess. So tenth game, actually. Oh, Andrew Shaw is injured. What? Andrew Shaw. Uh, oh no, that's not good at all. Because we need somebody to replace him on the right wing. We don't have uh, anybody really. Why? Because there's like two injuries or something? Oh, because we don't have any uh, any player actually playing, uh, actually being there for the, the death wise. That's interesting. Well, we're going to bring up Nosen. Let's bring up Nosen. Uh, we're going to play him on the uh, lineup, I guess. So we got our first injury right here. Uh, Richie is right here. I don't know if I want to switch Richie. I guess Nosen is going to be just our simple replacement. He's going to be the one, the guy replacing our team uh, in our team. So he's going to be playing there. And I guess we don't have anybody for defense. When he comes up, it will come up. Uh, we'll switch that up. Here we go, Matt, Martin Erat. You're going to be there. We're going to pick up, I guess, our fourth uh, guy. So who would be the best option Re right here? I don't quite know. I guess this guy right here. I'm guessing the best option would be him. So let's just go back right here. So yeah, basically I wanted to simulate all the way here. One month of simulation. That's always what I do. So basically uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up accepting all the trades anyways, but editing, editing them. So every time uh, I'm going to get a trade offer, I'm going to modify it so that it, it works perfectly. You guys are going to see what I'm talking about once I've got um, basically what I need. You're going to see what, I, what I'm uh, talking about basically once, the, once this is all over, uh, once I get a trade offer. So there it is right now. So as I was talking about it, there, uh, we did get a trade offer. I can't talk for it right now. I can't like so my words are not coming true. So we are going to trade another one of our defensemen. Now what's going to happen is to prevent that. Because we keep just trading away our defensemen for, uh, for some reason. He's an 83 overall defenseman. What we're going to do. We're going to get something better in return. We, also, we always get something in return guys. Not just a bunch of two to, uh, second round picks. Okay. So we're going to get rid of one of those second round picks. Uh, we're going to get a defenseman in exchange. All right. That's all. That's always what we're going to do. So apparently we're giving, we're getting a draft in a, in exchange. So we just got to make sure that we're, we pick up somebody that can uh, get, we can get with this draft. So he's an 83 overall. We can either get Bo Meester on our team or Yalmerson, one of these two. Yalmosen, I think he's too high in value. And yeah, I'm pretty sure Yalmosen is just too high in value, guys. We can try, but no, no, it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. So what we're going to have to do, we are going to have to get a Bowmister, I guess. We're just going to have to get Bowmister in there. And uh, it's going to work out. So we are still going to get the... The second round, um, the second round pick, and we're gonna get Bo Mister in exchange. So it's just a loss of one, a little bit. All right, we just lose a little bit of 
a defense. We're training down on defense, but that's at least we get a defenseman back. That's what I'm talking about when I edit the the, the trades. It's just that make sure that we don't trade anybody for no reason because we traded a lot of our defensemen. We had a lot. Traded all of them basically for a bunch of draft picks. But right now we want to be secure. We want to make sure that this trade goes off. So second round pick is fine by me. A Bo Mister, Justin Brown, it's all good. We got the trade done. So there's a trade. Don't know why our team or the, the AI for my team decides to... Is deciding to basically put us w uh, towards where we're gonna we're playing a bunch of I don't know it, it seems weird one two three four five six yeah we don't have a good team yeah I don't know why the AI wants to trade all my defensemen this is uh, it's pretty weird I gotta tell you pretty weird but Manson's gonna be playing it with Larson now and uh, uh, Darlene's gonna be Darlene's gonna be playing with Bo Mister he's gonna be, have a veteran in there playing with him. Two-way defenseman anyways, so it's going to help him out. Let's do extra attacker. It's going to be uh, Bo Mister. There we go. So, welcome Bo Mister. I don't know how much time he's going to last in our team. I mean, well, we'll have to see, really, because uh, it might be a surprise. I don't know if he's going to last at all in our team. The way we're trading defensemen, we're just trading defensemen left and right. It's a surprise that Darlene is still in the team, you know? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Darlene at one point is going to get traded at this point. I, I don't like, like, I don't know why it's uh, it's going that way. But we got uh, Adam Larson, which is injured. Now, because he's injured, we do need to get a defenseman in there to replace him. And we don't have any. That's the problem right here. Is that we don't have any defensemen to replace. Um... Yeah, so I, I'm guessing what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to play, obviously, a uh, forward for this. We don't have a choice, so Nielsen is going to be either uh, replacing fours or, li like, he's going to be replacing anybody, really. So, Nielsen, for now, you're going in there. Uh, where are you? You're right here. So, Nielsen's going to be playing uh, a lot of time. He's going to be playing on the first right here, so this is... Uh, this is going to be interesting. I'm hoping that we uh, do fine, but as you can see, our our month right now is not looking good at all. We only got two wins out of that month. At least we got a point against uh, Boston right here, which is important. Uh, Simon is injured. We can replace him in, in there. The, the reason why we can't get any defensemen is because we don't have any eligible defensemen in the AHL that can play in the NHL. So... We're basically stuck with what we have. I could go to the free agents and sign somebody. Uh, 1825, 1826, and 5. It's really a, an awful record for a team, um, especially for a beginning team. I don't know uh, how we're going to come back from this. We're not going to come back from this, from what uh, it looks like. We're at 50 games now. So 50 games played for our team. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. We are obviously probably the worst team. No, one of the worst teams. Uh, I think we are the third worst team in the league, guys. So, obviously, it's going to be a chance for us to get a good draft pick once again. Um, I'm hoping for a good players in the free agency so we can really help out our team big time. Because we're really going to need it. We are absolutely going to need it at this point. I'm looking forward to maybe doing something. I, I'm pretty sure we can do something to help out our team right here. Let's just go look at our stats, our team stats really quick. I want to make this quick. I want to finish this season off and go right into the, the, the uh, draft and the free agency and everything. So I want to make this quick. Are we still good on the, this side? We are not. We're not scoring goals anymore. That's not good. In goals per game, we're kind of in the middle. So I'll take it. I'll take it. A power play, we still got them awful in the power play. So we didn't move up. So 8.8. .8. Penalty kill, we're still the worst. 75. Okay. We're the worst in power play and penalty kill. We're not scoring goals. We're not doing anything, basically. So we need to switch that up. 
obviously the strategies I'm gonna modify them now so high pressure is not gonna work I'm just gonna put it as the it should be standard normal staggered uh, diamond umbrella all right just keep it the way it is like this should work and uh, I'm hoping just for the best really I'm gonna go for efficiency all right efficiency instead of energy because I want my team to be able to really be efficient there we go and I want uh, my defensemen to shoot there we go so that's what I want we'll see if it works out uh, you never know it might work uh, end up working and uh, we're going to look at the free agents just to look if we can get anybody really the defenseman uh, for defenseman wise uh, maybe someone to replace we don't have any even anybody like in there so it there's no point in going for a, a, a free agent at this point there's nothing nobody that can replace us hopefully sometime we're going to do a trade or something that could help us but i don't know what kind of trade could we do? We don't even have a, pros a real prospects at this point. So we can't trade anybody for good players or anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and simulate the next month as well. See how it goes. So all the way up to this day, the trading uh, deadline day. See how it goes. We're going to also obviously look at the, uh, the trades that happened in the a NHL itself. What kind of trades if they if they've got big trades going to ha happen or something like that so we'll see what what's going to happen basically we don't have a good season at all right now J bo mister is injured so he's got to be replaced by uh nielsen or nelson i don't know how to name him properly we got 12 like we got 29 wins already 18 losses I don't like this record at all guys I, I like seeing that I don't like seeing my team being so bad that they're worse they're playing even worse than my the red my red wings were playing so I don't like this like it's not good to see that you don't want to see that ever but it is what it is so lineups we got to switch the lineup since the Grubauer, our our main goaltender is injured now too so yeah, and Nielsen hopefully is going to do the job as uh, in the meantime. We also got a Koro, which he's going to be playing in there. Now, a AHL, we're going to need to find a backup for the AHL for the meantime. So we're just going to put this guy in, a random goaltender. And here we go. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. If we can uh, manage to win a couple of games. Uh, we only won uh, one game so far. Uh, Bowmister is back already. There we go. Uh, Nosen, how many? He played 10 games as a replacement right now. And he's minus 2 on, with only 1 point. So that's not good at all. He's playing more time too with uh, when he's a defenseman. So I don't know what's going on right now with him. Um, I'm hoping for a good, uh, for another good, for a good season next year though. Uh, Grabauer is back too. Look at all these injuries. All these injuries in these trades that uh, are being offered to me. It's crazy absolutely crazy now we gotta get we gotta get a, a him back in there so i gotta go all the way to the roster moves to the goaltender thing it's really annoying that's the only thing that's is one of the things that's the most annoying about this game is you got all the way you gotta go all the way back in there in the tr lines and everything and put your make your time in, in order to make sure that Everybody's in there, uh, in there, pro playing properly in their position and everything. It's really annoying. It takes a lot of time out of the gameplay. All right, we're good now. Hopefully, there's not going to be any other prop off except for maybe a trade. I doubt we're going to do any trades because we already did a bunch of trades at this point. It's not doesn't look like we're going to. When you come to that part of the season, 20, 21st, really close to the trade deadline. You don't do any trades anymore. You do them right before in the previous months or something like that. So a lot of losses in regulation. We're not scoring goals as you can see. We're we're having a hard time scoring one to two goals per game basically. That's our biggest problem is we're not scoring goals. We're giving up a, a lot of goals too. Four to five goals per game. Really not a good uh, a good way to 
win games, that's for sure. That's not how you win games. And obviously, we're probably the worst team at this point because all we're doing is losing. We're just losing games. That's in our last 10 games, we lost one, we won one of them only. Now we're at 46. Somehow, Calgary Flames are worse than us, somehow, but we're still the wor second worst team. I know I don't know how the Calgary Flames are are doing or can possibly be worse than us guys look at this this is just awful our best player is at 38 points it's Jesper Fast who's playing on the first line should be playing on the third line boys I don't know how full team we've got we don't have a good team at all let's just look at the trades we're just gonna have to ignore the first uh, the first uh, year basically so we got a bunch of things. Uh, Bodker is going to Chicago. P Thomas Plekanec still playing. He's not retiring in this uh, in this career because it's still a saving point. I don't know why he's, he's still playing, but he's a uh, Carolina. We have got Roussel. Anybody really that's important? Dan Amu, Spezza are both going to Nashville. That's interesting. Anybody else doesn't look like it not really actually as you can see the has got traded a bunch of places That's a, that's crazy. Mike Smith is going uh, went to uh, Carolina and um, Jordan Stahl went to Calgary, that's crazy. That's a big trade right there Jordan Stahl to Car to Calgary and Mike Smith to Carolina that's that's a big time trade anyways, let's just go ahead and and hope for the best really can I still do trades I can still do trades maybe I can switch for something up but why would I switch for something up we're playing bad might as well play bad for the um, the draft at this point we've got a bunch of first rounders so might as well uh, hope that our first rounders are gonna pay off you know might as well just uh, continue and pay have a good payoff or go uh, or our draft pick and uh, as well as you can see our AHL team is doing very well so, which means that it's going to help out the uh, some of the prospects that are playing in there there's probably not going to be a lot of prospects either from the defensemen but still it's going to help them out big time Koro is injured he's got to be replaced in the AHL yeah a, a decent record in the AHL it's not uh, it's not perfect but it's at least better than what we've got <laughs> for sure I mean and we got a decent record compared to the other ones I mean I'm, I'm saying decent but we're still playing awful with a lot of losses like four loss four game losing streak five game losing streak right there for winning one but we still won a couple of games in there just to get us back a little bit I'm, I'm hoping to get that at least because the way the draft lottery works it's a little bit weird we're still the second worst team. Is that it? Calgary is still awful, even though they got Jordan Stahl in there because they traded their first their first goaltender for some reason. Uh, the, the, the trades don't make any sense in this game, and that's why I ended up trading all my the autos the trading system for my team went awful because we traded all our defensemen uh, that we had. For, for, we don't do that you shouldn't do that you know you have all the defensemen you shouldn't trade all of them but we're still they yeah, are the best the second worst team of this uh, of the uh, the season basically 50 points is pretty good for Jasper Fast I'm going to tell you right now that's a pretty good uh, record for Jasper Fast right there 50 points but well, still not it's not good enough from the point from where it looks like from my point of view um well, it's good enough for a player of his tramp. I mean, he's a third, for, third forward liner. So obviously, yeah, 50 points is unbelievable for him. We only we don't even have second liners on our team, I believe. We only have third liners as our best for players. So obviously, it wasn't going to go our way. We actually win our last, very last game of the season in over in shootouts. So at least there's that. We ended up with the month with two wins and three losses, which basically sums up our entire season 40 wins for our HL squad our HL squad was really good this year though guys which I'm really happy about that really happy so NHL season complete now AHL season complete as well 
we can go ahead we, obviously we didn't make it to the playoffs but we can go ahead and watch or look at what our stats looked like for uh, individual wise we already know what it looked like for our team so i'm guessing uh, let's just look right now our best scorer was Jesper fast so and Grabner, so we don't have any 30 goal scorer. Obviously, these two are both, they both played really good for our team. They just are third forward liners playing on the first line. So obviously, they did a lot of points. 53 points, really good. First line did really good together. But Letestu, minus 23 right there. That's, yeah, that's not good. Even though he did get 40 points, so that's kind of good for him. He did 40 points, but minus 23, Ali. I mean, it's not, it's not good. It's kind of in the middle, you know. So, I, I don't know what to say about that. I don't know. It's kind of a tie-up, you know. He played well, but at the same time, the minus, I don't like this. Uh, Riley Nash and everything. So, most of the players have played well. I don't know how to, to really say it, but... They couldn't do anything really. They they're not the good, the best players really. Nice, uh, Nielsen had a really tough time though. Nielsen, uh, not a good year at all for him. Grabar, a good year for him. It's actually a good year for Grabar. It's just he didn't have a team in front of him, so he couldn't really do anything. Oh, actually, I want to look at the NHL wise, the entire NHL. We gotta look at that. See what who did what. Best scorer of the league. 58 goals, uh, Ovi, of course, 58 goals, best player of the league, Kuznetsov, with, uh, 96 points, really good, Patrick Kane, Ovi, McDavid, Kopitar, uh, Liney, uh, Giroud, uh, Gallagher, Gallagher at 85 points, really now, I hope, uh, I would hope he played like that in real life, even though he's really good in real life. Imagine if he would do 85 points. That's just ridiculous. What the hell? How did he... He played on the first line, that's for sure. Shifley, all right. The, the defenseman-wise, we got Dowdy as the best defenseman. 71 points this year. We got all these other defensemen right here, as you can see. And goaltender-wise, best goaltender, I would see. I would say Jonathan Quick. Maybe I think Jonathan Quick is the best goaltender of the year with 41 wins. Elibog got 41 as well, and Martin Jones. But um, Quick is the best one since he's got the best percentage, best goaltender uh, average as well. I'm really happy that Price is in there. I'm really happy for that. So Montreal played very well uh, the first year. Very good simulation for uh, them, which is good. Zvechnikov, best prospect with seven, uh, 60 points, which is really good. Actually, Rasmus Dahlin, even though uh, he's third, he's third actually in there. Uh, not that good of a, of a first year for. Actually, it's pretty good for first year. I'm not saying say anything. It's pretty good. He got, he got a points. It's pretty much a tie up, really. He's um, he's got minuses, but he's in the thirty points, which uh, is what I need from a a defenseman that's a, a top four basically. So. Really good from him. I'm, I'm really liking that. Really liking that. So let's just go ahead and get out of here. We're going to simulate the entire playoff since we can't really watch it. So let's just go to the draft and see who's going to win the cup, guys. Looks like it's going to be the Blackhawks. The Chicago Blackhawks are winning the cup. So they're back in it. Even though they're ha they have an aging team, the very first year of the simulation, they have... The cup, they win the cup again. So they they do it. They manage to do it, guys. And that's really good for them. Good for you, uh, Chicago, I guess. Winning another cup. Another cup in their mind. That's really good for them. Now, I'm hoping for the draft that's going to be really good. I'm hoping for a really good draft location. And also, uh, it, it could be either way. It could be either we get screwed over. And we go all the way back at 8th position or something like that. Which is probably going to happen. Or we stay w around the area that we were in the top 4 or 5 position. And we actually won the last the draft lottery. 
Oh my Jesus. We won the draft lottery, guys. That's going to be two t two years in a row now we, where we get the very first draft pick. We got Darlene, uh, Rasmus Darlene in the very first as our very first draft pick last year for our very first year. Second year we get the very first draft pick at, uh, once again. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's what I wanted. And if we can get the very first draft pick afterwards, if we can get in a fair free agency, some good players, top twos or elite, then it's just going to be OP. Our team is going to be much better, guys. Good Lord. I'm loving this. Now, obviously, I don't know who's the best pl possible player, but it's, it's going to be a player that will play in the... Probably going to become... Uh, automatically if we don't find anybody in a free agency it's going to automatically become a first liner so it's going to be a, a top prospect we don't have anybody in there that's really good that that's that remarking uh, forward wise skater wise and goaltender as well we don't have anybody do we have anyone that was in seattle that uh took his retirement or anything nobody really okay so nobody of uh, grandeur we've got uh dominic moore which became a uh, scout so i'm really happy about that we've got a first overall draft pick once again for the second time in a row now somebody's gonna be able to play with darlene darlene with another one of these uh, these guys this is gonna be great so obviously now i can customize the jerseys and everything but I don't want to do it. There's no point in doing that. What I want to do is the free the draft pick right now. I want to see who we get. I want to do the free agency as well. I want to do every uh, every single one of uh, of these things. So let's just go right into it. Look at what we've got come out uh, as an option. So these are all of our options right here, guys. They say that this guy is the first overall that we should pick him up. He's a right wing. Marja Mackey. What a name. What a name. So let's just take our time right here because this is going to be important. We're not going to mess our things up even because obviously we got a lot of choices. They're all medium elites. We all know it. But we got to make sure. He got a minus three in the... In the uh, Miners, so I don't like it. I don't like that though, but a plus he's got some a plus in there So let's just look at the best possible option right here. All right, so it would be around the 75 mark All right 76 75 overall mark right here. That's what it says. It's probably way higher than that. He's a grinder though I don't know uh, This guy not so good compared to him this guy either and what about this guy? I want to make sure to make it quick. So this guy not so good as well. Not so good. And what about Kirby Dak? Not so good. So looks like we are going to pick this guy up. Major Carvey. Timo Major Mackey, guys. Uh, five foot ten. He's a little player. Grinder. He's kind of like a Gallagher when you think about it at this point. Uh, not so much because Grind uh, Gallagher is a two-way, but... Grinder... He's not going to do too many points, but I'm I'm hoping that it's going to be good. He's, they say he's like Sean Couturier, very passionate person. Uh, first overall draft pick. Hopefully, this guy is going to be good. He's a fantastic fan, so I'm hoping for the for a good thing. 76 overall. That's what I said. That that's what I figured. But it was the best option out all of them. So let's see who they got in the top five as well. Probably got screwed over. I hope not. Hope so far I got the best pick because he's got a 70, 65 overall. So that just means uh, 64. So I think I got the best uh, the best pick. That was the best pick. 60, 76. It just means that this year's draft was pretty weak actually. Uh, pretty weak. Now this guy obviously can play in the NHL right away. He's fourth liner. But 76 overall. I don't know if he's going to be playing in the NHL, guys. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to have space for him. That's a, a shame, really. I thought I would have. But let's just look now. 
66 and what about this guy 66 all right well i got definitely got the best because it, they're all in the 60s it looks like so this guy says 76 so i did pretty good now do we have anybody else in the as a first draft pick we do we have a 20 the 28th draft pick which we're gonna take and one two three four five can we move up just a little bit maybe to get a better chance at a better draft let's uh, let's try it out i don't know if i got anyone guys really i don't know if i got any prospects to that i can trade so let me just make sure it has uh, it does have some potential some good potential but it's definitely not a mcdavid or anything or a, a Ras even a rasmus doll it's not like look at the rasmus doll thing he's a little bit better uh, overall so obviously we're gonna have to look at that take that in, con in consideration so maybe we do need to we could tr get rid of agman or the other one but that seems a little bit too much i don't want to get rid of these guys so you know what we're just gonna keep what we have 28th position it's fine by me let's just keep what we have i'm fine with what we got right now we got the first overall uh it's just a shame that it's the first overall in a year that is not that good so capo caco i think he's actually an elite himself but we do have a guaranteed low elite right here this guy could probably be a 70 uh that's what it says i don't know if it's the case or not if this guy ends up being a 70 I really doubt it guys but he uh, they say he could be he could very well be also Lynch obviously there's Nelson and all these guys I don't know about that Kako I'm pretty sure he is uh, one of these um, I'm pretty sure he is one of these uh, elites not entirely sure though but we do have a guaranteed medium elite right there and um, I don't know Sh who should I pick I don't know if I should pick the medium elite right there, guys, instead of the other one. What it, what his stats are? D competition, so he wasn't good playing against the good competition at all. Uh, he doesn't have good stats at all, so not interested in that. That would be a waste at this point. Don't want to waste that up. So we are, I think, I don't know. I feel like this, I feel like Kako is a better option, really. But both played pretty well, and this guy is a gem, actually, so... I don't know, this is a defenseman, and this is a right winger. Kinda need defensemen. Well, we need more, uh, we need the forwards more than defensemen, I'm guessing, so... I don't know. Could he? I, I'm just gonna go with a safe bet and go with Anka right here. He's a gem anyways, so... 57 overall, I don't know why it said 6 or 70 in my calculations. But 57, pretty good. It's a trade bait thing. Let's see if Kirk, uh, Kako is actually, uh, what is the, is, uh, he is what it is said. I don't think he is. Oh my god, he was. So I got screwed over. I should have picked Kako, guys. He's a medium elite. I knew he was. He was. He's kind of the same as my player too. Except it's, uh, oh, I, I should have picked up uh, Kako, but it's okay. It's okay, guys. Now we got those two uh, in a row. Those two draft in a row. It's a tw 34, uh, fourth draft pick. So let's see what we can get into our hands right here. We could uh, get something right here. Get a, a Try a bet or something. Um, I'm not sure what we should try to do. Obviously we do have this guy. I kind of want I want to get him because he's a medium elite. But... He's in the 50s, so I still have time to get something better, probably. So let me see if I can get anything like that, probably, you know. Uh, uh, a forward like this. I want to I want guaranteed, uh, guaranteed elites. So, obviously, a bunch of Bs. This guy is actually going to be pretty good. So I'm going to pick this guy up, another D-man. Uh, uh, jerk him off. So, a 58 overall. 58 overall, what is it? Okay, he is 18 years of age, so that's pretty good. We got this guy. And what about... Um, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick the best options, guys, possible. I really wanna pick the best options, so... I don't care about the medium elite. Uh, we got some chance right here. Actually, let's just pick him up right now because I don't wanna miss out on him. So, Waters, there we go. 51 overall. Bunch of 50s, but it's elites anyways, so... It's good prospects for the futures. Prospects that I can eventually trade for better players anyways, for right now. Probably. So we'll try it out. Pen Bruce appears to include Kirkan Amy. What the hell? Since when did oh it looks like Montreal did uh was stuck in that worse uh in that goddamn awful trade system or anything or, or everything because they've got they traded Kirkan Amy for some reason. Hollander now Neil's Hollander I don't think he's in the lead, guys. I don't think he's actually an elite. I think that's a that's a lie. Uh, Frolov, all these players. I don't know. Seems like this guy could be an elite. Could very well be. He could very well be an elite. So we can uh, take a chance on him uh, on this guy. Let's take him a, ch a, ch a chance on this guy. Uh, medium top nine. I knew it was top nine. God damn. All right, we took a chance. That's okay. So uh, a second uh, round pick. It's still a medium top nine, so he's got some potential in there. Uh, that we potential and dra draft overall that we can do it take. Um, anybody else? Really doesn't look like it. I want to make sure that we uh, take um, guaranteed lower leads. Uh, so we're gonna just take this guy right here. All right, let's take uh, take him up 56 overall. And we I think we just got another draft right away so let's just get the other low uh, low elite just to be sure there we go two-way defenseman and a 55 overall we got a bunch of um, a low elites medium elites we're still only in the, the third round pick uh, guys so in the third round so that means that we have so many draft picks available we're building up our future right now which is pretty good for us pretty good now I don't know who I'm gonna go for right here that's obviously a lot of ch choices Bertuzzi uh, tag Bertuzzi I don't know anything about him so I can't go for him since I don't know anything uh, Nash now Nash D that's pretty bad so I'm not picking him up it's 19 years of age if you see that you don't want to go for that uh, Raiden says he's a medium elite probably he's not gonna be he's a goaltender though uh, 18 years of age, A plus competition, and not entirely sure. So, uh, the he could be good. Uh, we don't have anything about his stats really, so we could take a chance on him, which we are going to do. We're going to do uh, take a chance on him. He is a medium elite. A uh, look at that. We've got a goaltender, medium elite, another prospect, uh, prospect for the future, guys, which is really good for us. Anybody else? Fourth round now. Looks like it's not a good year at all for the prospects overall. Even though we got a lot of elites. Um, there's not a lot of big higher prospects that can play right now in the NHL. There's only one. And it's the one I got. Uh, first overall. Which is pretty crazy in itself. Andrews says it's a low elite. Uh, D competition though. It's 19 years of age. I'm not picking that up. That's just awful right there. Uh, medium t medium seventh, which I don't like. I that wouldn't be good. Uh, A plus though. I don't know. A plus would be pretty good. But what about um this guy right here, C. Um, I don't know. It's, uh, let's take chances on elites. If it says they're elites, there's a good chance they could be. So let's just go back into the fourth round. Is he what we needed? Well, he's a bottom six, so it's fine. It's not a, it's not um, a miss, but it's still, a, it's still a good thing. It's still a good thing in itself. Let's just look at the uh, overall. We're just gonna go in there because we don't know anything really. So 18 years of age. So here's our options really right now. 18 years of age. We've got a goaltender right here. We don't know anything about this guy. Uh, 19 so we're not picking these guys up but this guy we can pick him up so we're gonna do it Markstrom 
let's see what we get what we got out of you another bottom six so that's it's fine bottom sixes i don't have any good trade assets on them but still good nonetheless we got a lot of young prospects coming in a lot of of elites so i'm hoping for a really decent uh time for us so georges Giroux, one of our our scouts is uh, needs to be re-signed uh is he good enough oh yeah he's good enough uh all right he's a plus for the qng in chel so we're gonna keep him and let's just go in there right away we go for the uh, re-sign phase i'm gonna do that on my own so i'll see you guys in a minute so here's what it looks like after i signed everybody and got rid of a bunch of players so we can get a better free agency and everything on our hands now koro looks like he doesn't want to come back so koro we're gonna have to get rid of him it looks like so one minor goaltender and less we're gonna have to go for minor goaltender left wing uh, olstrom doesn't want to come back 75 overall so i'm guessing left wing will have to have a minor as well in there so i'm, I'm just going to put that up um, we're going to need minors for goaltenders and left wing i guess they don't want to come back marja maki our prospect had to sign no choice he's a fourth liner so he needs to play in the nhl uh, and uh, that's about it really so the other twos are guess i'm guessing they're not going to come back so just one minor for each i guess there we go and we got the minors for all positions we got a lot of things a lot of players to sign this year round so i'm ready to do it let's get the surprise right now of what we got as an option we do have some option looks like not elite prospects so we, uh, forward wise we don't have uh, skater wise we don't have any uh like big time prospects uh, big time elites but we do have some good decent players in there as a choice so at least there's that so definitely gonna improve our team at least so we got the De Derek Brassard which obviously we're gonna pull it, pick him we're, he's gonna be uh, obviously playing with us so pick him up we'll, we'll see how it goes so ob he, obviously there's a lot of player that want him so we're gonna have to Give him big kind, a big time contract, 7.25. There we go, my guy. You're back with us. Uh, you're going to go with us. Now, we need the best possible option, which is Bre Brian Boyle at that situation, looks like. So, we're going to pick him back up as, uh, as our uh, second centerman for the league that we are missing. So, power forward, pretty good. I'm guessing it's pretty good. So, we don't have a choice, really. We're going to pick him up. Let's see what we got uh some people want him actually a good amount of people want him so we're gonna have to give him a big time contract as well which hurts me a lot but we don't really have a choice we, we want to make sure to have these players on our team so there we go and uh afterwards we need one minor centerman for our de our defense uh, for the minors i guess peter allen Let's see how he goes um playmaker is he gonna be any good i don't know is he uh 80 all right i think he's gonna be pretty decent for our team so we are gonna pick him up here we go he's gonna be playing with us guys all right next up we've got left wing let's see what we got in left wing position we need one left winger which is looks like it's either gonna be uh, larson or vanek now johan larson can actually grow as a prospect but i don't think he's gonna grow anymore he's 26 years of age uh, Vanek is recognized from me to be a really good player in this game. So I am going to sign Vanek. Uh, I think we're going to need him. So Vanek, you're going to come with us. He is. He has some people that want him. So we're just going to give him a little bit more of a contract. So 3.55. There we go. Vanek is going to be on our team. Minor wise, we do need a minor for our playoff, uh, for our players. So we could get a uh, raffle, Michael Raffle, right there. Uh, I did get, I think we had him already, but I got rid of him because he wasn't uh, that spectacular. There was stats wise. Scott Wilson, what did he do? He actually played very well in the NH AHL, so I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna take him instead. 
it's much more of a cho better choice than my uh, Michael Rifle. And right wing, we don't need anybody for the, uh, the league, we just need somebody for the minors. So minor wise, uh, Yaramir Eginga, Oof. that would be pretty good, but I don't want to pick that up. Um, uh, Brian Gionta could be a choice right here. So Brian Gionta, I'm guessing, uh, is he going to be any good? What does he do? What did he do this year? He played in the NHL actually. So NHL he did that. Maybe he could he could do good in for the AHL. I don't know guys. He could do good. Brian uh Bo Bennett. Let me see. I want to make sure. Bo Bennett is actually uh, pretty good in the AHL. So I'm gonna put pick uh Bo Bennett up. I'm gonna make sure that I have the best options possible ahead of me. Um, uh, defense wise we need two defensemen so obviously going to get the top four there so Bowmister you're going to be back up I got rid of Bowmister because he didn't have that much of a good season did not produce at all so I wanted to see if I couldn't get anything better but it looks like there's nothing better so I am going to pick him back up uh, there's a lot of people that want him so we're going to need to give him a 6 million contract which that's going to hurt for someone like Bowmister, but don't have a choice. It's the best option we got. And after that, we've got three options right here. We've got a lot of options actually uh, for top six position, basically. But I think the top three really is Ron Enzi, Ruta, or Coburn. So let's figure this out. Uh, why does everybody want Ruta in particular? I don't know. What does he have? Uh, he played the N NHL, he had 17, or minus 17, uh, 12 points, I don't like that, that doesn't look good at all, that doesn't look good at all, minus 17 points, what about this guy, Ron Enzi, uh, one point only, he didn't play uh, a lot, he was kind of a replacement I guess, uh, four, so plus four, it's actually pretty decent for me. For my standards, it's pretty decent. Coburn, uh, what does he do? Uh, plus 13, oh, 13 points. Braden Coburn, much better player for me. All right, Braden Coburn, I think is the guy I want to go for right here. So uh, I'm going to have to give him a big time contract. So there's four players, uh, four teams that want him. So 4.5125. Uh, there we go. We got our two defensemen right here. Uh, we need six miners, six defense miners, right? defenseman miners right here, guys. All right, so Postma. We need a lot of defensemen right here. Let's see what we got as an option, really. Uh, is this guy any good? I got to check. Uh, this guy is not that good, but he didn't play too well. So we're going to give him a chance since he didn't play too much. We're going to give him a chance. Uh, Ruadel. Um, he did not play at all, so we're going to give him a chance as well. What about uh, Orstele? Uh, he did play quite a lot, 82 points. Actually, he played the NHL as a deaf forward, a deaf defenseman. He played actually pretty well, so absolutely we want this guy. We've got Davidson now. Now, Brendan Davidson, I don't know. A plus zero. Is six points um, as a deaf forward, uh, pretty good, pretty good play in the N A NHL. So I'm gonna keep that up, obviously. So we got four defensemen right now. I'm looking for two other defensemen. Uh, Jordy Ben, let's see if we uh, is good enough. Only played four games in total, and he got okay. Yeah, I'm taking him because he's gonna be pretty good for a team. And Mark Stewart, is he any good for us? Would he be any good? Minus one. It, uh, he did play all the games. 10 points. Uh, minus one. He played in the NHL too. I don't know. It's kind of a tie tie. So we could probably get something better. A doll back. Uh, let's see if we got anything. Doll back, is he any, any good? We don't have anything on him, so let's take a chance on this guy then. We don't have anything on him, let's give him a chance. And goaltender-wise, finally, last play, last thing to do. Goaltender, we're going to get 
our an actual elite goaltender. There's an elite player we can get. We're going to get Fleury, guys. Marc-Andre Fleury in our team. That's what I'm liking. What did he do last year? Um, two previous years. He's actually playing very well, so it's going to be great to have him. We're going to have two starters on our team, obviously, but uh, it's better than having um, no goaltenders, you know, so... At least we're going to have goaltenders in there that can actually protect us. Which is going to be really good. And we only have one year contract for him. But that's okay. We need a minor goaltender. So a minor goaltender. Uh, Krobo could come back. But uh, he, didn't w he didn't want to come back. That's a problem. So let's just try to get him back I guess. He, he played pretty good. Who's the best option really right now? Uh, this guy is not that good compared to him. Actually, Niemi looks like he's a really good... I'm going to try my luck on Niemi right here. Because Niemi looks like he's a good goaltender for the miners. So, let's pick him up. Let's pick him up and see what we can have out of him. And let's see. Let's simulate until the f uh, four, f uh, four or five uh, days. Uh, and that's when uh, usually they uh, start signing. So, let's see what we got. Wilson, uh, Dalbeck, Osterley, Vanek, Ben, uh, Niemi, Boyle, Davidson, Olin, Ruadel, uh, Brassard, Bomister, Coburn, Bennett, Posma, got all of them. We didn't get uh, Flory just yet. Flory accepted. Nice. We got everyone. We got everyone we wanted. Our team is already looking much better just because of that, guys. Just because of that. Our team is looking jack packed so uh let's go see what it looks like uh for the season looks like there's a trade we are gonna have to do then uh now they want my fourth round pick so in exchange i cannot get a defenseman i need to get a prospect in exchange that's how i'm gonna whirl, uh, roll it out guys a prospect that uh, hasn't been signed so a prospect that can probably have uh, some potential so maybe this guy right here top nine See if we can get him. Actually, he's a little bit too high, so we cannot get him. We need to get something that's not too high up. Uh, so maybe this guy, like right here, uh, Valenti. So let's see if we can get him. There we go. It's accepted. So that's the kind of trade I'm going to do. If it's if they want a draft pick, they're going to have to give me one of their prospects in exchange that hasn't been signed just yet. So this is what our team's going to look like at least at the very beginning of the year. So it's going to be Grabner with uh, Brassard and Fast. Now Fast at least has... He, he played very well with 50 points uh, around the board as a, t as a third liner, basically. A third liner last year. Now he grew up to a second liner. And didn't grow up too much. He only grew up by one overall because obviously he can't grow anymore. His, uh, his stats are exact. But... Pretty good and at least he's playing with Gramner once again, but Brassard, which is gonna help both of them really uh big time. Brassard is an actual two-way forward. Um so let's see what we got. Sniper, two-way forward, and a sniper. So two snipers. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna go. We've got Vanek in there, which is a new player, of course. Lots of new players for our team. Playing with Raleigh Nash and uh, Andrew Shaw. These guys playing together once again, but they've got a sniper with them. Uh, so maybe we'll see how it goes. Um, Helm is playing with a new player, Brian Boyle, in uh, Versteeg, which actually is a new player too because he played almost the entire year last year in the... Yeah, he played the entire year in the AHL. So we're going to give him a chance first time around this year. Give him a chance on the third line of the first uh, of our team. So two-way with a power forward and a sniper. See how it goes. That's uh, actually... These two lineups are well done. Uh, this lineup is meh. It's okay. But it's the first lineup. So first lineup is always fine to do whatever you want with it. It's the other lineups you want to make sure that they're okay. Uh, you've got Nordstrom in there. Which had a pretty... Um, it's an okay year I guess. It was uh, an okay year for him. So I'm hoping for a better one. He's still playing with Letestu once again. Letestu had a... These guys were not playing well together, but they've got a new player with them. Hopefully, he's going to be able to help them out. It's Marjorie Mackey, our prospect, first overall this year. 
Let's see how it goes with a two way four and a playmaker. They're playing with a grinder. So let's see how it's going to go. Defense wise, we're going to have Larson with Dal uh, Rasmus Dahlin. Um, we've got, I don't know, a defensive defenseman or two way. That's pretty good. Uh, so Dahlin, I'm hoping for a good year out of him. Manson and Bo Mister 2, the defensive defensemen playing together. Not good. But it is what it is. We don't have a choice. And if two other defensive defensemen. We only have DDs basically on our team. And uh, goalie wise, you already know. Fleury and Grubauer. Alright, so. Really good for our team. We got uh, a good team ahead of us. I'm hoping that uh, we're going to do well. Now, obviously, as fast, I don't want him to be. Uh, you played well for us fast, but I'm going to give an assessment to already our young prospect. Give him a boost on that. I do not want a Riley Nash to be our captain. Absolutely not. Um, I don't think we should have a captain because there's nobody really on our team that's ready to be a top. That is a top tier player just yet. There's no top tier players. I would give it to a Flurry, but the goaltenders cannot have uh, the, the C on their jerseys. So... What I could do, Jasper Fast was our best player last year, so I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking an assist to uh, Jasper Fast would be pretty good for us. All right. So obviously our two prospects, Dalian and Marjan Mackey, are the ones gonna have the uh, assists on their jerseys. So I'm gonna stop it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. On the le next one, we are gonna simulate the second season entirely. Hopefully, I'm gonna be able to do it this time around. And hopefully we're gonna do better, a little bit better, since we've got a much better team, I believe, in front of us. Uh, at least in the offense, it's a little bit better. We couldn't get a, a better choice, but we did what we had. We, we did what we could, what we had. So, remember to leave a like. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy.